Imagine this. Blaming a rape victim for the clothes that they wore, saying they deserved it. Wouldn't happen, would it? And if it did happen, the person who said it would be demonized to hell and back. Nonstop. So, what in the world is the difference between those people saying that if Mr. Sandman hadn't been wearing the MAGA hat, this would have never happened. Okay, so we're blaming the victim for the article of clothing that they wore. So, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. The same way you paint one thing, you must also paint the other. The same point of view you have on one set of ideals, you must have on the other. So, if you cannot blame a rape victim for wearing certain clothing, then you cannot blame this 16-year-old child for wearing an article of clothing. And I'm going to hypothesize that people who do blame this kid for wearing a MAGA hat and saying that it's his fault for wearing a MAGA hat are the same people who will blame a rape victim for what she or he was wearing. Because you cannot tell me that you're going to blame an article of clothing on one thing and not the other. No, 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 no. That, that doesn't make sense. So if you're saying that the kid deserved it because he wore a MAGA hat, then you're also saying rape victims deserved it because, what, she wore a short skirt or she was wearing a bikini, so she asked for it. Really? That's the stance you're going to take? And, and I have had multiple, multiple YouTube comment section debates, more like arguments, with people that are blaming the kid, the child, the 16-year-old child who doesn't know shit about life and they're blaming him saying, well, he shouldn't have worn the hat. Okay. Go to a rape victim and tell them, well, you shouldn't have been wearing that skirt. You shouldn't have been wearing that shirt. You shouldn't have been wearing that bikini. Go ahead. I dare you. Go ahead. You won't do it. And I know you won't do it because you would get so demonized in society you wouldn't know what to do with yourself. Am I right? Comment on this uh, comment section below and let me know if I'm right or if I completely missed the mark. If I completely lost my brain and it's okay to blame a 16-year-old child for an article of clothing. But yet it's not okay to blame a rape victim for clothing. How does that work? What's, what's the rationale on that? If you can justify that, I would love to hear it. Anyway, it's just a, just a short video on the, the hypocrisy of our society. It's absurd. You're going to blame a child for an article of clothing to get death threats. And then on top of that, why would he get death threats in the first place? I, I don't know. I saw the whole video that everybody saw, the whole 30-second clip. And even in the original 30-second clip, I didn't see any issues. None. I saw a kid standing there, and I saw an Indian banging a drum in the, the kid's face. I didn't even know how it made this big a news, other than the fact that the account that first tweeted it set up the narrative to make it look the way it looked. And then mainstream media, of course, just jumped the gun and were so eager to blame this kid. They were so eager, and still even to this day, there are people who blame the kid and are trying to make excuses. Just get over it. You were wrong. Admit you were wrong and move on. Uh, anyways, comment below and let me know what you think. Am, 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 am I off my rocker? Am I living in the goddamn twilight zone where my logic, my reason, my common sense is wrong? I don't think it is, but let me know if it is. I'll catch you on the next video.